Ever wondered why irritable bowel syndrome, particularly the diarrhea predominant type or IBSD, is such a persistent issue for many people? This condition affects a significant proportion of the population, often causing discomfort, embarrassment, and a decrease in quality of life. Despite this, effective treatments are still sorely needed. Enter a promising double-blind study that delves into the potential of oral glutamine therapy for post-infectious IBSD patients with increased intestinal permeability. This study could potentially change the way we approach IBSD treatment. Let's delve into the details of this fascinating study. This investigation was designed as a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial, the gold standard in scientific research. It aimed at examining the impact of oral glutamine therapy on patients suffering from diarrhea-predominant irritable bowel syndrome, or IBSD, which developed after an enteric infection and resulted in increased intestinal permeability. The participants were adults eligible for the trial. They were randomly assigned to receive either glutamine or a placebo over an eight-week period. The dosage of glutamine was 5 grams taken three times a day. The researchers were looking for a reduction of 50 points or more on the Irritable Bowel Syndrome Severity Scoring System, or IBSSS, as the primary measurement of success. They also monitored secondary factors like overall IBSSS scores, daily bowel movement frequency, stool form using the Bristol Stool Scale, and intestinal permeability. Now that we understand the setup, let's look at the results of this groundbreaking experiment. The results of this study are both startling and promising. The primary endpoint of the study was achieved by a whopping 79.6% of the participants in the glutamine group, compared to a meager 5.8% in the placebo group. That's a staggering 14-fold difference. But the benefits of glutamine didn't stop there. It also made significant strides in reducing all secondary endpoints. These included the Irritable Bowel Syndrome Severity Scoring System score at 8 weeks, daily bowel movement frequency, bristol stool scale and importantly, intestinal permeability. In fact there was a significant reduction in the intestinal hyperpermeability, a condition characterized by elevated urinary lactulose to mannitol ratios, in the glutamine group. Now, let's talk safety. One might wonder with such dramatic results whether there were any adverse side effects. Well, the study found that adverse events and rates of study drug discontinuation were low and similar in both groups. Essentially, the glutamine supplements were well tolerated, with no serious adverse events observed. As we can see, oral glutamine supplements could potentially revolutionize the treatment of IBSD. However, as with any scientific discovery, it's important not to get ahead of ourselves. Large-scale clinical trials are needed to confirm these findings and to explore the pharmacological mechanisms at play. The future of IBSD treatment looks promising, and glutamine could be the key to unlocking it.